Hi, this is an EasyKiss123 tutorial. Today we're going to set up a contact form for your website that alerts you by text message when a user has filled out the form and clicked submit. And it also sends you the email that you were intended to get in the first place. Very cool, very easy to set up. If you're not already there, go to EasyKiss123.com so you can get all the files you need and follow along. And if you don't see the tutorial right here at the top of the page, come over here to the search box and just do a search for SMS and it should bring it up for you. And we'll scroll down the page to get started. On the demo tab, let's take a look. So this is the form here and the user would fill it out and you would receive an email and a text message alerting you that you have a new message. So let's go to the download tab and download the files and get it set up for your site. Download to your computer and you'll get a file called smscontactform.zip. So I'm going to extract that here. And that gives me a folder called SMS Contact Form. So when I open the folder, I have something called code and instructions.txt. Well, I'm going to open that up. And you could pretty much go step by step through here, but I'll walk you through it anyway. And just follow along. The first thing we want to do is go into this folder called includes. There's a file smsformprocess.php. So we want to open that up. You can open it with Word or Notepad or Dreamweaver, whatever you want to edit it with. And the first thing on line 15, put in your own email address. That's easy enough. So I'll put me at easykiss 123.com. On line 17, change it to the subject of your email. The email that's going to be submitted from the contact form. Whatever you want the subject to say. So I, I'll just say the user submitted form from website. Whatever you want. Put it in there. Then the next line down will be line 98. If we scroll down, you'll see another spot. All you need to do is put in your email address. So here I will put in me at easykiss123.com. And here it says from my site, I'll put from, you can change this. It's just going to say who it's from, and I'll just put from easykiss site. Next thing is on line 110 is where we're going to put in your phone number. Open that up. So on line 110, you'll see a section. It says your phone number at your cell phone provider gateway.com. Doesn't matter if you know what that means. I'm going to show you how to do this. Come over to the Easy Kiss tutorial page on the download tab. You'll see a link called list of SMS gateways. Go ahead and click that and it opens a new page. If you scroll down, you're going to see a big list of cell phone providers. Well, basically, you just find whatever company you're with and locate them in that list. So I'm with Fido, and I will grab this. So what I would look at is it the phone number at Fido.ca. That's the gateway. If you were with Mtel, it would be the phone number at mtelworld.net. So you would find your provider in the list and use that format for the provider. So mine is Fido, my phone number at Fido.ca. So when I come back to my form, this section, assume this was my phone number, 555-555-5555 at Fido.ca, since that's who I'm with. Then, and put yours in and we'll move on. Line 130, change it to your own email address. Come down to line 130. And a little more room for you to see. This here, go ahead and change that again to your email. So I'll put me at easykiss123.com. Then this little section here, on, we'll say starting with line 120, 
it says 70 you'll see where it says text sub str comments and you'll see the number 70 what that 70 means is because you can't get as much information in a text message as you can in an email it's going to just going to grab the first 70 characters of the user's message and send that along with the text message so you have some sort of idea of what the message is about so you can raise that up to a higher number or you can lower it to what whatever number you want I mean you set it as 10 you can set it as 160 but basically what you want to realize is that the in on your text message you can only get so many characters so I figured 70 would be good because you're also going to receive in your text message the user's name the user's phone number if they put it in this where it says dollar sign text well that's coming from here so you're going to get the first 70 characters and this section says full message in your email that's just a reminder that the rest of the message is in the email you can actually remove this if you don't want that as a reminder you could remove this and then raise the number up if you wanted to or you could just leave it all the same so you don't have to touch it but if you know what I'm talking about and I haven't lost you then you can go ahead and mess with that the next thing we want to do is we want to actually want to integrate the the form the contact form into your existing page so I've set up a sample page to show you how that's done. I will save this file. Then I've set up a folder. I called it My Page. And I'll open this up. Now assume this was the page I was building. And come down and see Contact Form goes here. So I know, I know where I want my contact form to go. So I have this all set up. Now I haven't put these files in the tutorial. It's just my own page. You're going to be using your own page anyway, but this is just an example. So contact.html, I would open it up and I'll use Notepad. Then I'm going to go back to my code and instructions. And it says insert this line of code at the very top of your page. So I'm going to grab this little line of code, copy it, and go back to my contact.html at the very top make sure there are no spaces whatsoever and paste that line of code in I'm gonna come down and grab this line of code for my style sheet and I'm gonna copy it and I paste this into the head the header section of my document like you would any other style sheet and paste that in then uh, just another line of code not a line of code, a section of code now. This big section of code is the form itself. So I'm going to grab that, copy it, and I've made a little spot here so I know where it goes. It says contact form goes here. I'll just erase that, delete that, and paste in my code. I'm going to save this file. And then what I want to do is close everything up. Right now the file is called contact.html. I'm dealing with PHP, so I just want to rename this to contact.php. Yes, I'll rename it. Open up my FTP program and connect. Come down here. And create a folder called my page as a sample and I've already set this up once but I'm gonna go ahead and do this again most people do know how to upload with FTP but I'll show you here and take all the files from my page to update them put them in and then I also want to take all my full all the files from this this is what you have downloaded so this is the part that you would be most concerned about is this SMS contact form open it up grab all the files and put them into the same directory as your contact form once they're all up there I will go easykiss 123.com slash my page contact.php and the form should be in there working fine yeah, there it is so 
Easy as that. And it works. Thank you for watching. It's been an easy kiss. One, two, three, tutorial.